You just finished recording some epic gameplay in OBS, and you want to check it out in DaVinci Resolve, but all it does is mock you relentlessly. That's right, kids. The free version of DaVinci Resolve on Linux does not, in no way, support importing MPEG-4. Not even a little bit. You know what? Chances are you probably don't want to shell out $300 just to try it out. I get it. I've been there. Now, there are ways to convert your MP4s. So I've made guides and do something that DaVinci Resolve will happily nom, but it takes a long time. Quality can take a hit during the conversion, and you need the storage, not only for the original file, but the one that you've converted. So, why don't we cut out all that nonsense and record to a format DaVinci can import directly from OBS? Well, three reasons. One, up until recently, OBS could not reliably record DNX HD. The video would have drop frames, and sometimes OBS would just crash when stopping the recording. Bit RNG. That seems to be fixed now. Question mark. I've been using it for the last two weeks for our shows without any issues. Your miles may vary. Two, you're going to need a decent amount of storage. You can expect files anywhere from, let's say, 95 to 130 gigs per hour for 1080p60. Now, if you've already been recording with H.264 or HUVC lossless, you won't notice a difference size-wise. Three, unlike MPEG-4, DNX HD cannot be offloaded to your GPU. In VNCode, VAPI won't be able to help you out, so you might end up not being able to record some things strictly because you don't have the horsepower. Something to keep in mind. All right. Let's get to it. First thing, we need to get into settings in OBS. We're heading to output, then to recording. Typically, well, you might have it just set to standard, but we need to get advanced with custom FF MPEG output. Now, the first thing you need to do is set your container format to move, and we're going to change the bitrate to 290,000 kilobits per second, one keyframe. Make sure you have show all codecs enabled, and we are going to select. DNX HD audio bit rate is going to be 2304 because you're not going to be using F32LE. Nay, that's what I use. You will want to use. Maybe I can zoom out. There we go. S24LE. So do as I say, not as I do. Tap that apply button and let's do a sample. That should be, we'll start a recording. 30 seconds have passed, to which we will now stun said recording. Let's take a look at the damage. This is this can be a shock to some people, it really can. If you're not accustomed to recording high bit rates. 30 seconds, 1.1 gigabytes. That's what we ended up with. Like I said, at the beginning of the video, if you're accustomed to recording and like lossless, this is not gonna be a shock. But cool thing about this is we can pull it directly, directly into DaVinci Resolve Lite, the free version. I'm going to have to change that, and that's it. It's there. Audio's there. Video's there, because we're using the DNX HD, and our audio is completely lossless. That's something I should mention, that even with the studio version, you cannot import MP3s or AAC audio it has to be a wave. So keep that in mind. And 1.1 gigs. All right, that was it. That wasn't so bad, was it? Really isn't. Um, it's definitely something to play around with. The main reason I use it, even though that you know I do have the studio version that I picked up, is scrubbing through the timeline when you have a native DNX HD video infinitely better um, compared to HEVC or 264, even in DaVinci. 1080p, it's not bad, but when I'm doing stuff at uh, 2160p UHD, it can be a little bit chuggy. Not the case with DNX HD. Uh, yeah. Boom, patrons. Those are the people you need to be thanking. They make this show possible. But more to the point is, if you get the hard drive space, try it out. It is a little more CPU intensive, 
I have a 1920X Threadripper, first gen, old school, vintage Threadripper. Doesn't really have a problem with it at 1080p 60 or um, 2160p uh, for doing the shows. Sometimes I can run into issues um, recording games, but then you know, one of the advantages is I could just record in X264 or 265 with NV encode uh, to kind of get around that. But yeah, let me know in the comments uh, if you've decided to take a Pepsi challenge with us, how it worked out for you. I'm always curious as to see what other people are doing with this stuff. But that's going to do that. Hope it was helpful. And if it was um, moderately useful, cool. Now, get out there and make some cool shit.